banks, they play a huge role in our economy. So far. Uh, so far. What is what's going to happen with them? How wh- how's going to be the the bank the banks world in 2018? Is they're going to disappear? Or what? Give well, your no, point. they're not going to disappear. Like if you if you go to um, Central Bank New York and you you go there with maybe your wife or your significant other and you're visiting Central Park. Um, they have these beautiful horse carriages that you can ride around Central Park. Um, and apparently horse carriages didn't disappear with the invention of the automobile. Mm-hmm. Uh, so banks won't either. Uh, they'll be the kind of institution that has significantly less power, is mostly used for legacy applications. Maybe governments will use them more. Such as what they're, they're doing right now with a, with a uh, blockchain that they're building, the, the, the Centralized blockchain is is really well. The centralized blockchain is a contradiction in terms. The purpose of a blockchain is to increase decentralization. A centralized blockchain is like a horseless carriage with a horse. Uh, and so, if you do a horseless carriage with a horse, that's a horse carriage, and we already have those. So you didn't really change anything. It's like saying the technology behind the automobile is the pneumatic tire. Let's adopt pneumatic tires and put horses in front. Um, it won't work. Now, I hope they spend another billion dollars trying to figure out it won't work, training lots and lots of blockchain engineers who will eventually come to Bitcoin and Ethereum and do some interesting projects. Uh, But banking as an institution is obsolete. Banking is now a protocol. Banking is an app. And that world is never going to go back. It just may take 20, 30 years until you see that ripple through the world. But it will. And there's absolutely nothing that can stop it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So in Sydney, blockchain is very, there's a lot of talk about it. Be, a lot because there's a lot of fear from the banks and they're investing a lot of money in uh-huh. the ecosystem. So how can we use the fear of the banks to make sure we build the ecosystem and uh, do all the great things that we want to do? Oh, um, we, we don't need to persuade the banks to do this right. Um, they're putting hundreds of millions of dollars into things that, as they're building them now, won't work. Absolutely. They're training tens of thousands of developers on how blockchains work. And there are a few very, very interesting open, borderless, decentralized, open innovation, open permission blockchains. And I'm hoping the best of the best of these developers, after getting bored for a couple of years doing proof of concept on reinventing spreadsheets, will take their Christmas bonus and on January 1st use it to fund a startup to compete against the banks that taught them how to do this. I've seen this. I've talked to people from these banks telling me I got my Christmas bonus and on January 1st I started a Bitcoin startup to compete against my former employer. This is going to happen. The beauty is that we just crack the market wide open. And when it comes to an open market, competition will determine the outcome. And if you continue to build horse buggies in the age of the automobile, you go out of business. Simple as that. And most of them will. The dinosaurs will survive, but they will change and lose enough power until they become chickens. Because that's what happened to the dinosaurs. We have their children for breakfast every morning. <laughs>